Hello and welcome to The Point from Navitin. This week we'll look at how you can virtually eliminate advertisements from your web browsing experience. We'll look at the process for three different web browsers, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, and Google Chrome. We'll start with Mozilla Firefox. These instructions are for version 4, which was released on March 22nd. To upgrade, browse to the link below or in the, is in the issue and click the green download button. Follow along with these steps. Browse to the link shown on the screen now. It's also the link uh, included in the video description on YouTube. And uh, you want to click the, I have that link open here, and you want to click this green Add to Firefox button. On the window that appears, you have to wait for this countdown to finish and then click Install Now. And the installation will finish, and you click this Restart Now button. If you're prompted to, I was not prompted to uh, subscribe to a specific filter list, but if you are, just choose the default option, Easy List. And that's it for Firefox. 99% uh, of the advertisements that you typically see should now just disappear. Now we'll look at the steps for Google Chrome. You browse to the link included in the issue or in the YouTube description and uh, also on the screen right now, and you'll find the Chrome uh, Web Store Adblock Plus extension. And this is a free extension. You just click the blue Install button. And this is the simplest installation of all. You can see it's, it's already finished. And uh, you can just close this message and web advertisements should disappear. And now finally, we'll look at Internet Explorer. It's important to note that there's no free and reliable ad blocker available for Internet Explorer currently. Uh, Simple Adblock is among the best payware options available, and it's available for 30 days with the limitation that it will only block up to 200 advertisements per day. Uh, the full version, which can be used on three separate computers, is available for about $30. Again, it's simpleadblock.com, and you choose the Download Now button. And you have to click download now on several different screens before you finally get the download. I think this is the final one here. And then Internet Explorer will prompt you with a security warning um, by default. And you'll have to click this yellow bar that appears and choose download file. I'm just going to choose run. Choose run again and then follow the steps in the wizard. Make sure that you accept the terms in the license agreement. Once the wizard has finished, click finish to exit. When this uh, pop-up appears, you can enable a Internet Explorer status bar, which will show uh, the menu for this particular add-on with options to configure specific things. It's up to you, really. If you trust the default options, then you can choose no, but if you think you're going to want to tinker around, you can just choose the, the yes option. and It'll enable the status bar. And as you can see, this bar has appeared on the bottom with a button here that has options for simple ad block. And this is finished. And make sure that on this final screen here, you choose United States as your country and click Submit. And that'll finish up the installation for simple ad block. And if you click here, it'll do, run a quick test. And you can see it tested OK for both tests. With that, we reach the conclusion of this week's issue of The Point. If you like what you've seen and want to receive The Point on a regular basis, you can sign up on our website, navitend.com. The link is on the screen and also in the description of the video. If you have an unanswered tech question, feel free to email it to me, uh, pbeach, that's p-b-e-a-c-h, at navitend.com. That email address is right there on the screen. Thanks, and have a great week.